I know it's water down there, but it might as well be concrete. You'll be flat as a pancake the second you hit. Just leave me alone. I don't want your pretty boy face to be the last thing I see. Okay. It is a game, and you know it. Come back over here and let's talk. We'll both get experience points, and we can go explore and get to know each other. It'll be good times. You can just take a break from the game for a while. You ready? Mm hmm This has nothing to do with lifeblood. You want to jump? I'll let you jump. Just tell me why. You don't understand. Just leave me alone. Portals or no portals, I'm trapped here. He won't let me leave. Okay, just... Can't talk to me for the last time. No! <laughs> Hello, Michael. Welcome to VNS headquarters. Because I'm a gamer? Because I like to dink around with the code a little bit? You're here because we need you. Look, I don't think my mom would approve of me dating older women. I work for the VNS, and there's a problem in the vertnet. We need your help. Fine, I'm sorry. More like it. The mortality doctrine. Hearing these words has committed you in joining us, but I need to hear you say it. Mortality doctrine is something we know little on, but we do know that this doctrine can eliminate all of humanity. Have you heard of a man named Cain? Yeah. Poor Tiny died. She mentioned him. Yes, and her death is a small part of why you're here. You see, you are a witness of how bad things are getting around here. We have seen people brain damaged inside their coffin, and our agents have been able to trace the evidence down to Cain. And? All of this is related to the Mortality Doctrine. We need you to find Cain in the Mortality Doctrine somewhere in the vertnet. Will you do it? Okay. Okay. You were followed. Take him home. Okay. This is the weirdest entrance to a game I've ever seen. You don't think it's a trap, do you? Since we didn't have access? That's against the law. So it's breaking into a game. Yeah, well. Well, look up there. The wall is turning. It gets lighter. I guess that answers our question. We're in. And it looks like we're on the glacier front. I hope there's some real weapons over there. I don't think I can win a fight with the knife. Me too. That makes three of us. Maybe we can code something in from another game. I just hope we don't get thrown in jail. has come. We have all chosen our humans. Thus, begin the next stage of evolution. Tangents will live. <laughs> That's one. Your parents, your precious Helga, even your brother, they're all dead. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Would you do that if you had a new- Are you gonna- Dear Michael, 
We were the first subject to successfully implement the mortality doctrine. There is only one way to explain it, and that is simply this. You were once a tangent, a program created by mankind to be used by mankind. You are now a human yourself. You're, you have been transferred to the body of one we deem unworthy to continue his own life. Create kill sins for exactly this purpose. They erase or and render one's brain, in effect, empty, clean, free, or free reign. This plan has been long in the making. My activity in averting it was so that I could find those able to seek me out. Those tangents with the greatest intelligent potential to survive in the wake, to meet the physical demands of being human, it has all led to this day. You are only the beginning, Michael, the first step in a massive leap forward in evolution. Congratulations. We must have a thousand questions. More like two thousand. So what's next? I'm sure Kane knows you're here. Well, I just wanted you to see my face, to know that I really exist and that you're not alone. To know that the Venus is still determined to catch Kane and stop his plans. I'm going to leave now, Michael. We'll be in touch. In the meantime, do your best to play the part of the human you've replaced. There's simply no other choice.